Please be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station, the management, and its network. All right, welcome back to everybody watching Millennial TV, and uh, I think. Uh, this has got to be one of our more uh, mind-blowing, so to speak, uh, episodes. So, again, like, uh, just to establish where we left off, no? Kasi parang madaling maligaw sa ganitong klaseng topic, eh. Uh, we were talking about, as uh, a culture, how we tend to uh, connect to a higher source, to uh, uh, either worship it or, in some cases, uh, to manifest the things you want. Like, uh, even in our traditional Catholic faith, we pray, uh, hoping to be given things we want. And uh, every uh, religion or every uh, human practice, so to speak, uh, has their version of connecting to uh, the source to be able to manifest about uh, what they want. And I know this can be a very, very confusing topic, pero Robert, maybe you can walk us lang through the basics of uh, manifestation, why it mm. works and doesn't work for certain people. Alright, now manifestation is basically concentrating your will into something more, your desire into something more powerful, which is called will. Okay, it's taking responsibility for what you want to bring into this world. Alright, because I tell this in my manifestation masterclass, there are two kinds of people. There are the wishful thinkers and there are the manifestors. Wishful thinker would be example. Oh, I want a girlfriend. So like, sige, fine. Lord, give me a girlfriend. Pero what do they come from? They come from this victim mentality. They're not willing to put in the work. They're just a lady in waiting, for lack of a better word. They're just hoping, praying, begging the universe that they're going to get what they want. Mm. But they're not doing anything about it. That's a wishful thinker. Manifestation is different. A manifestor will do everything in their power to make sure that they get a girlfriend. They believe in the saying of, Hannibal, which is, I will find a way or I will make one. Example, if I'm trying to manifest a girlfriend, I will hang out with Waki every day so I mm -hmm. get his poggy energy. I will lose weight. I will go on TV. I will make a lot of money. I will dress well. I will act well. I will eat clean. I will hang out with people. I will treat women respectfully. But I, I'm doing everything I can in my power towards one particular goal, which is to have a girlfriend. Yes. So that at the end of the day, I will either die I will either get it or die trying. It's like, nah, there's no lose here. Yeah. It's like, I may not get it now, mm. but it's only a matter of time. That's manifestation. You're taking responsibility for what it is you want to bring into this world. Now, th this is to say, well, what can you manifest? As long as it's possible, it's possible. For example, if uh, uh, Waki asked, can I manifest that I bring my Lolo back to life? Not yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? The technology is not there yet. Or if he said, I want to manifest that I'm the president of the United States, I'd be like, malabo yan pare. Because yeah, you, tayo, you, uh, uh, exactly. Exactly. Of the no, but, but tayo. even yan, talaga, he has to be a natural born, blah, blah, blah. So you don't want to go against something that's impossible. But if he said, I want to manifest that I win gold in, the, in, U, in URCC or something like that, then you can steer all of your willpower towards that. You can be responsible for it. That's manifestation, taking responsibility, responsibility of the reality that you wish to create. Now, you ask me, why is it that people don't get what they want to manifest? I tell this to people because 90% of the time, the reason people don't get what they want is because they're getting in their own ways. And the number one reason you don't get it is because you don't feel you deserve it. There's somewhere in you that you feel unworthy of it, that you are literally blocking yourself. Let me give you an example. Uh, gentlemen, have you ever had a friend that was so patay gutum for another guy or girl that they were just like desperate, like, anything, I'll have anything to be with this person, right? They're so like, oh Lord, please, please give me to this person, <laughs> right? The best thing that can happen to them is that they don't get that person. Bakit? Because in their mind, they don't feel they deserve that person. And if they get them, they're going to allow themselves to be in an abusive relationship. Because even if they get them, now they're in the position where, oh my God, I got them. Now I can't lose them. They're going to run away. Because mm -hmm. in their mind, they never felt they deserved it. But in their mind, when they think that they deserve it, it's already there. I learned this in jujitsu. Do you know why? I learned this because when you've trained to, to, the, to the bone to, to win a competition, you're not there to win. You're there to play your game plan. So it's not about win-lose. You know you've done everything. Mm -hmm. But if you know you haven't done your 100% and you enter those mats, 
for a competition, you're going to be trembling and full of anxiety because you know I didn't do it. You're hoping. You don't feel you deserve the victory. So if you enter those those if you enter the competition or anything like that, knowing that you deserve it because you've worked for it because you've earned it, then it doesn't matter if you win or lose. Siguro to uh, contextualize this a little bit for uh, our audiences then. Uh, uh, ikaw, Chris, uh, give me an example kasi eto, nagigets naman natin yung topic na you manifest the stuff that you want. Uh, give me an example siguro kung uh, something na you felt that you wanted na manifest mo and then something na uh, you felt that you wanted, you tried to manifest, you tried to manifest it pero di mo nakuha and then Let's ask Robert what he thinks. Bakit mo na-manifest yung isa? Bakit mo hindi na-manifest yung isa? So, ako I wanna hear from you first. Actually, iba yung na-experience ko eh. Like for example, merong instance na na meron akong naisip. May naisip ako, biglaan lang. Tapos maya maya mangyayari siya. It's more of so, recognition. More like yeah. you're predicting it. But that's not yeah. manifestation. Manifestation mm-hmm. is intentional. Yeah, okay. You wanted it to happen. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, I want to go on a date with, mm-hmm. let's say, Angelina Jolie. So I'm going to use all of my power to happen. That's manifestation. But if you said, hmm, baka I'm going to see Man- Jan- Angelina Jolie, bigla and she appears. Mm-hmm. That's not manifestation. You were just picking it up. No, I'm talking about, hindi siya, hindi siya baka. Uh-huh. Kung baga, naisip ko yung exact event. Mm-hmm. Tapos nangyari siya later on. Ah, uh, so I think what he's talking about. So let's uh, let's try to <coughs> dissect the topics a little bit. We're going from uh, manifestation, and I'll give you my version of mine. Mm-hmm. And I think what he's talking about here is more of a premonition. Yeah, premonition. So I something guess. that he uh, probably saw or felt and it happened ahead of time, and yes. it happened. So. Yeah. Uh, can we argue that a premonition is a form of manifestation? I don't want to say that because say that's true because a man, like I said, manifestation is intentional. You choose it. You were just mm-hmm. picking it up. So you were like, I was already receiving the transmission that it was going to happen. Mm-hmm. So you were just seeing it happen before it happened. But you didn't choose that to happen. Yes. It's just, okay, wow. I'm, I'm, baka, I'm, like, I'm going to see Waki later. I'm seeing him in my head and then he shows up. That's a premonition versus it is my will. Today, I will see Waki. That's a manifestation. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, sense. I'll give an example also uh, from, I, and I think it's pretty easy to <laughs> see where I'm gonna come from. Uh, a big part of my uh, martial arts, you, you've explained earlier, uh, manifesting a victory in a tournament where everybody wants the same thing, mm-hmm. and somehow, some way, you come out on top. Uh, I felt like I've gotten to a point where I've been able to manifest victories for yeah. me in the sporting field. That's something that I've tried to apply. Uh, it's not apples to oranges, but the way I tried to manifest victory in sports, I tried to manifest victory also in my recent bid to mm-hmm. become a counselor. So obviously, it didn't uh, work out. And uh, without knowing too much in the details of what happened er, and you know how did I go about my campaign, why do you think I've been able to manifest uh, winning in competitions and why I haven't been able to manifest yet uh, being counselor? Despite the fact that, mm-hmm. at least as far as I'm concerned, I understand that there might be other factors, but as far as I'm concerned, I put in the same level of work mm-hmm. and I breathe in the same level of confidence for mm-hmm. both things. So I really wanted to uh, hear your perspective right. on that. Now, I know that the dedication and the, desert, the, the, the drive to serve was there for you, still is there for you, okay? But w- I'm, I'm going to call a spade a spade. The rank you have in martial arts is not the same rank you have yet in politics. Right. Let's be honest. You're still you're a white belt in politics. Right. You're a purple belt in jiu-jitsu. So you, that doesn't translate. It's like if that was asking a girl out, you would have had it just like that. It was like, really? <laughs> I got two dates, you know what I mean? Because it's black belt. Kajan. Mm. So wow. this was an area where you were still starting from something new. It's not like you were a seasoned politician that you know the intramurals of the ins and outs. You, this was your first rodeo, okay? So it basically means you're learning. You're learning. Yeah, oh, it sucks to lose. It really sucks it to lose. But you're only a loser if you stay l- beaten. Like I asked uh, Waki Kanina on the phone, in your first comp, did you win? In jiu-jitsu, he said, yeah, I did. Lucky you. I lost. You know what I mean? But I chose to come back. Now, if you quit and you don't come back, then loser ka talaga. Yes. But if it's really your will, okay, you've beaten me this time. The next time, it's not going to happen. I'm always for the rematch. Remember, find a way or make one. 
No. I Makes felt sense. like I uh, <laughs> really needed to uh, hear that personally. So, uh, Robert, I mean, both as a host and as a friend, I'm uh, very grateful. But uh, we, we've had so much fun in this episode. Yes. And, like, uh, of course, we don't want to run out of time. Uh, you've Before had that, your yeah. deck here for uh, quite a while. Yeah. And uh, I'm pretty sure everybody watching uh, isn't going to be... Uh, isn't going to let this episode pass <laughs> yeah. without us doing a little bit of reading. So uh, tell us about uh, the deck All right. that you have here. And This is yeah. the standard Rider Wide Radiant Edition that I carry with me when I go out in the field. And basically how the reading works is this. When I tell, read for somebody, I tell them where they've been, where they are, and where they could be going. Why do I tell you where you could be going? Because unlike other readers, I <coughs> refuse to tell you that anything is set in stone. Okay. In 26 years of reading the tarot, I've never come across a reading that couldn't be changed. And it's my advocacy to tell every single person I read for that no reader, healer, mystic, fortune teller, feng shui master has the right or even the ability to tell you that something is set in stone. Example, if I told Chris, Chris, kahit anong gagawin mo, next month you'll go to Boracay and you'll impregnate a girl. What do you think is going to happen? He's never going to go to Boracay again. Right. So, uh, never again. Yes. So it shows that the power is not in the reader, it's in the person. I show you your trajectory, your prob probabilities, your cause and effect, but the decisions are up to you. Okay, the reading is like your Waze app. Yeah. It shows you where the traffic is, but it's up to you if you want. Oh, you want to go on that route or not? It's a guide. Okay, so no reading is ever ever set in stone. Any, it's not just with me. Any reader you go for, anytime a reader will tell you, no, no matter what, bad things are gonna happen. It's set in stone. Your girlfriend's gonna leave you. That's the first thing you should say. No, I still have the choice. It's still in my hands. So basically, that's what I want to share to people with the advocacy. So, who do I read for first? You or Chris? Yeah, of course. So yeah, see, ako, I would do Chris first. Because uh, right. uh, wait, before you get into the reading, uh, I just had to share, and we had this conversation earlier. Um, I guess part of the reason why I ran uh, is because of a reading you gave me a few years back. And not that I'm oh. blaming you for anything or whatever, but uh, you told me something about me uh, going down a rabbit hole. And obviously, a lot has done well from me from the time you read for me uh, up to this most recent uh, setback. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this deck into three piles, basically. And this, these three piles would just simply represent your past, present, and potential future. Or what I like to tell people where you've been, where you are, and where you could be going. Okay? So let's start off with your past. Here's the thing with you, Chris. It never was and never will be about the money to you. If you wanted to make so much more money, you had that opportunity. But the one thing about you you never wanted was to sell out. Because in your past, you've experienced people who've sold their souls just for money. You know what you said, Chris? Never. I won't do it. Yeah. Even kung billion, billion yan, ayoko because I want to stay me. That's yes. been very important. You've had people in your life, could have been family members, <coughs> friends, alagang. They really sold themselves. <coughs> and may principio ka. You're like, no, I will not do it. Now, recently, okay, here's the thing. You're looking for something to put your heart into, okay? You're looking around, and I'm not just talking about relationships. I'm looking like there's something that you want to dedicate your feelings, your mm -hmm. commitment to. It's like you want to belong to something Sorry, bigger than you. Sorry, do you want to show the audience the card you drew out yeah, first? This is the and like where the first card that from? I got for Chris was the King of Pentacles reversed, and the present one for him is the Knight, Knight of, Cups. of Cups. So you're like looking for somewhere to fill this cup. You're saying, maybe hosting will make me fulfilled. Or maybe being friends with Waki. Maybe jujitsu. Mm -hmm. Maybe painting. So you're just in this discovery right now. Where can I fill this cup? Now the beauty of it is this. It's an empty cup. So you can fill it with whatever you want. But remember, the same cup that can hold water can also hold acid. So careful what you put in there. Okay? Because right. you might look, put the wrong thing in there. It's like, oh my God, what happened to me? It mm -hmm. was your choice. Now, your future influences is this. You have the Six of Pentacles. And this is about giving back. And you really do want to give back to people, Chris. But there's just one thing to keep in mind. You tend to overdo it. Okay? You need to learn to say no to people. Because it's not fair that sometimes at 3 in the morning, people tell you, Chris, my problem ako, can you talk? You'll say yes. But remember, you should, always, you should always keep in mind the most important person in the world. Do you know who that is? Him. Exactly. Thank you for answering for him. You didn't know how to answer for a bit. In other words, you can't give from an empty cup. As I tell people, give from the saucer, not from the cup. Keep some for yourself. The excess you can give to others. But if you're not in the space to give, it's absolutely okay to say no. All right? How did you like that? One of the best episodes we've had. Uh, 
Si Robert, uh, let's plug anything you wanna plug, any upcoming shows, your social media accounts, where can our friends at Millennial TV find you? Yes, you can follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Rob Rubin Readings, as well as on Instagram at Rob Rubin Readings. And if you wanna know more about me, visit my mm -hmm. official website, uh, www.robrubinreadings.com. Every Thursday night on my fan page, I have my free live tarot show called Tarot Thursdays. Tune in and you can have your tarot read live on the air by me. Just say please and thank you. And if you want to have, if you're a first timer, you get one question. But if you want more questions, you can donate stars in order to have more questions answered live on the air. You get it read real, real time by me. So hope to see you guys there. Ikaw, Chris, anybody you want to say hi to? Anything you want to plug? Any other shows outside uh, Millennial TV? Yeah, yung, yun lang naman, yung Millennial TV, yung YouTube channel, tsaka Facebook page namin. Yan. Search yun lang yung Millennial TV. Yan. Yung mga other episodes namin, yung mga nakarang episodes, dyan yung mapapanood. Yeah, I have a lot of uh, catching up to do. Uh, obviously, yeah. I'm still uh, hurting very much, guys. But uh, I'm very thankful na I got to do this show today. And uh, honestly, uh, it's been a rough couple of days. And I'm really grateful lang na nakasama ako Nabalik. sa cast. And of all topics pa, eto. So, nag, uh, papasalamat ako. And uh, hopefully, the next time you see us, kumpleto na yung yes, uh, yes. ating uh, barkada dito sa Millennial TV. But uh, for now, uh, please, please, please share yung mga content na lumalabas. We're uploading even yung mga past episodes na. So, if you want to uh, keep the show going, just let us know the topics you have in mind also. Anything and everything is welcome as uh, evidenced by this episode. So, until next time, uh, 8 p.m. ulit, no? Dito yes, sa GNN. We'll catch you next week uh, dito sa Millennial TV. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat.